So I'm live. Give me a little second, everyone. Else. See? <laughs> I'm causing the mayhem already. Okay. Let me fix that there and let me try and. I don't even know what I've done here. Just give me a second. Hmm. I've lost my toolbar on my computer. What have I done? I don't know what I've done here. <laughs> I feel like this is deja vu, that this is me every week. <laughs> I can't even see the chat. <laughs> I can't even see the chat. Right, I might be able to, because I just got a notification from my own channel. Let me see if I can see the chat now. Hi, yes, hi, Abby. <laughs> One of these times I'll get it right. Wait till I just... Um... Hi, Tortoise. I'm having a great day, thank you. Hope you're also having a good day. Hi, Animal Lover. Animal lover, yes. Hi, Ellis. One of these days I'll just go on live and just. <laughs> no problem. I don't know where it is. Every time I go on, it's the same things I do wrong. <laughs> and I keep thinking next time I'll do it right. <sighs> what am I like? I'm actually waiting on some deliveries coming, so. Elise, yay! Drinking a vodka and coke again today? Maybe. <laughs> no, it's just cola. <laughs> I might, I might be into the vodka and cola. <laughs> Hi, always. <laughs> I might get into the vodka though, a bit later. Oh, it's been one tough week, but I've got through it. And now I'm going to be happy and everything's going to be... The others flat out entertainment. Hi. <laughs> I hope you're doing good. Um, so this week's been quite a hard week for me. Um... You might have a panic attack at your dancing. Just take deep breaths. Deep breaths. There's a lot of situations I've been really uncomfortable in recently and you've just got to do it. But the, the, the thing is, deep breaths, you know. Uh -huh. This week I've not had any videos out. There's been a bereavement in my family, so... Um, We've been kind of concentrating on that and now is the time to um, just be thankful and happy, joyful, laughter, all that kind of stuff. So, Ooh, any recommendations for a present for a friend? Hmm, is it a male friend or a female friend, Elise? I'm going to show you a couple of glitter palettes, a female, well, any kind of smelly stuff like um, perfume or makeup or anything like that, I always find really, that I, I like all that stuff and if people give me things like that for my Christmas, I know it's getting used, I always use nice smelly perfumes and, and bath bombs. <laughs> oh, Abby, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. So, I'm actually waiting on a delivery. If it comes, I'll show you what it is. Um, I recently got some love from some wonderful people from The Porch, and it's Pam and Ricky, and they're in a channel called Shoot the Shit Snacker Size. And for anyone that's interested, we've been raising money 
for people that need a little bit extra at Christmas time. And it actually gave me some money towards Christmas this year, and um, which has helped me out a great deal because it's been quite difficult. Um, so they've helped, and I think it's about 50 families have helped now. So what, I would, what I'm doing is I'm going to donate a video, an ASMR video. It can be a male role play or a female role play spa video. And it will be about 20 minutes long and I'll do the whole spa and relax. I'll see your name. It will be very personal. Um, I will put this video on Unlisted on my channel. So you're the only person that will ever be able to watch this video. And um, I, 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 we're putting it up for auction. So whoever bids the highest by the 18th of December will receive this video. Now, um, if you're interested in bidding for this at all, Pam and Rick normally go live at, I think it's nine o'clock American time. And I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure whereabouts in America that is. I do know they're five hours behind me. So, anyway, when they're on, there's a, a lovely lady called Lisa and she deals with um, the auction items. So, if anybody's interested, please go over there. They're on every single night at nine o'clock America time. And... Um, even even if it's just a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars or or whatever, it doesn't matter. Whoever gets the highest bid, I'm going to do this personal video for them. So anyway, um, I've got some reviews to do. What oh, deliveries come? Yeah, Abby, there's a, a, I'm not sure what to, this delivery that I'm getting is for my son. There's some things for my son for Christmas. And I can tell he's what it is because he doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> he doesn't watch his mum. So what I got him was for Christmas Day Monopoly, right? So we can all have a game of Monopoly. But it's not just any Monopoly. It's the Glasgow edition Monopoly. And I come from Glasgow. So it's going to be all the streets and places in Glasgow that I know. So that, that's going to be good, you know, we're going to have a game at that on Christmas Day. And do you know something? This is absolutely true. The normal Monopoly edition... I've picked two lists of the give, Giving Tree at the Forge Glasgow. Oh! Ah, uh, memes, that sounds great. Yeah, the Glasgow edition. Um, so, what was I saying? Oh, fuck, I can't remember. <laughs> Pardon the French. I can't remember what I was saying there. That's just old age. That's not drink alone. <laughs> That's just me getting old. Uh, oh, a sterling one. There's a sterling one. Yeah, so, oh, that's what I was saying. The Glasgow edition is... Let me think, that was 13, 12 pounds dearer than just the original Monopoly. See the original Monopoly? 12 pound dearer just for the Glasgow edition, but I had to have it. Yeah, I ha yeah, I'll be. See, I forget what I'm saying and then it kind of comes to me. <laughs> it's definitely old age, so I'm just getting an old, an old git. <laughs> Uh-huh, £12 difference just because it's the Glasgow edition. I was like, come on. But you do, you get, um, there's there's football teams as well. I've seen the, the Arsenal. See, I've only, there's only one football team for me, but then it's not Arsenal. <laughs> You've got different football teams, monopolies and things like that. But I thought, that one's going to be good. Monopoly games in the charity shops, Abby. Yes, the the normal Monopoly game was thirteen pounds, and the Glasgow edition is coming in at twenty five pounds. Yeah, but it's Christmas. See, after Christmas, it'll be back down to the same prices. 
the normal one. I always do this. Hi Jack. I hope you're well this Saturday. It's Saturday afternoon for me. It's nearly 3 o'clock in the afternoon for me. And I keep watching for my delivery because I can't really get it because I love wrapping. <laughs> I don't know if any of you love wrapping, but I absolutely love wrapping presents. Oh, Abby, we made a Christmas tree out of a plastic bag because we can't afford decorations. Oh, Abby, see that touches my heart so much. Um, I, I really don't know what to say. I know that making decorations, it's, it's really good fun making de decorations and sometimes, in fact, handmade things you'll see behind me here. Me and my son sat and made these and I've got them all around my, my ceiling. And, but actually, I've had a lot of fun making these, you know. Um, so, well, I feel bad, Abby, I'm so sorry. But I'm sure you'll have a good Christmas, and it's the feeling that counts. Um, Present-wise, I'm not, I'm not bothered about presents for myself. Um, I like the food and I like the company and I like Monopoly, playing games and things like that. that. That's the kind of things that I really enjoy about Christmas. And it's also good if it snows. Oh, Abby, that sounds lovely. I've seen so many... Um, Christmas trees that are like, um, they're not a joke Christmas trees, but they're quirky, I suppose you would say. There was one that I seen and it must have been in a, a warm place because it was flip-flops and it was a tree made out of, you know, just flip-flops, a tree out of flip-flops. It was amazing. Hi, William. Can I give a flying kiss? I don't know what a flying kiss is, but I'll go. If that's a flying kiss. <laughs> There's not been any snow here. Hopefully it does snow. Yes, Jack. Jack, the thing is, all round us, there is snow. There's snow everywhere. There's snow in Wales. There's, there's snow in England. There's snow in Ireland. Um, there's snow in Texas, there's snow all over the world, and just in the central Scotland where I am, completely snow free. In fact, it's quite a nice day today. Oxfordshire, snowing. And snowing, snowing everywhere. I'm, I'm not happy with the weather. Blue skies. <laughs> it's nearly bikini weather. Get my bikini on. <laughs> Do you know that would give the, the neighbours nightmares? <laughs> that would give the neighbours nightmares. Me and my bikini. <laughs> and my son, my son would never be able to look at his mother again. <laughs> oh, Gada, I hope I'm saying your name right. Hello, how are you? 80s sitcom, mm hmm Do you know, if he can ever get a watch, and it's, it's, it's not a comedy at all, right? <laughs> but it shows you kind of... For some people, life in Glasgow, and it's a a a program called the Scheme, right? 
I, th I think we can get it on YouTube, but one of my, my pals, Scott, who stays in the USA, um, I tried to get him to watch it, but when he went to watch it, it said that he couldn't watch it in his country. But if you type in the scheme to, to YouTube, yeah, it's a, doc, it's a kind of documentary, um, you might get it. And it just follows some families about that stay in um, Ayrshire. What's the name of the place? I've just been blank. Um, Kilmarnock. They stay in Kilmarnock. And um, they're all, a lot of them, they're, they're like living in the poverty line kind of thing. Now, I'm very Scottish and even in even listening to their accents, there's some people's accents, and I, I just can't, I just, I just can't fathom out what they're saying. <laughs> Kilmarnock, yes. Yes. But some of them are, are so, um, glasswegian <laughs> But even I'm going, but did she say? I can't, I can't figure out what she said. But in other countries, they've got the subtitles at the bottom <laughs> of the screen. Well, I'll tell you, see if you ever feel bad about your life, watch some of them and you realise actually how much you have got, you know. Do you know anything that's going on in Glasgow for the new year? Abby, there's usually um, in George's Square in Glasgow, they've usually got like fireworks and things there, but you've got to buy tickets, so I, I don't even know if you'd be able to get tickets now. <laughs> Most of us are lovely in East Ayrshire. I know you are. <laughs> it's just like um, there's a girl in the show and her name's Kerry. And um, she seems a really nice girl and everything like that. But her accent's so thick and she talks so fast. And she was like running a mop non stop. And, and, and she was saying all this stuff. And I was going, What is she saying? What is she saying? I could, maybe it's just my age. I, I had no idea what she was saying. And, and people would be saying, but what's that girl saying? You're from Scotland, I've no idea. <laughs> oh, my doggies hate fireworks also. Death of a bachelorette. I can kind of tell the difference between a Glasgow accent an Edinburgh accent and like say Dundee and Aberdeen I can ke and the reason I can distinguish them is because when I was younger eh, me and my ex-husband we'd really good friends that stayed in Edinburgh and we would um, they would come down to Glasgow and spend a couple of weeks with us and then we would go to Edinburgh and spend a couple of weeks with them and that way we kind of get used to the, the difference in the accents and um in um, Edinburgh they say Ken and that means you know. So <laughs> so in Glasgow we don't say Ken, we just say I I know whereas in Edinburgh they say I a Ken you know so <laughs> Oh William I would love it if you came to Glasgow. Uh, there's a troll. William, put that troll out. Thank you very much. See, do you know, in five minutes they'll be back on again with another story about what they've done to one of my children. But you, 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 get, a, you get quite a tough s s skin, <laughs> no pun intended, when you're on, um, when you're on Facebook. You can, you can get used to people trying to Oh, oh, I'll do a really, really nasty comment. <laughs> I done that nasty comment. See if they were face to face, they wouldn't be doing that comment because they wouldn't even get the whole comment out of their mouth before they got a Glasgow kiss. 
Has anyone heard about a Glasgow kiss? If you've not heard of it and someone asks you, do you want one? Say no, because it's a, you head but somebody and that's a Glasgow kiss. <laughs> Sucky Hall Street Shopping, Kate, yes. See, I just can't deal with the crowds now. I just can't deal with the the um, amount of people. It drives me insane. I'm the kind of person, I go to Asda at 6 o'clock in the morning when it opens, just so I can get around all the aisles with my shopping trolley before all the people come on and start bashing you out the road. And, oh, they're... That's one thing I noticed about the USA. When you're in the USA, the, well, the places I was, they're really nice. Have a nice day and how are you? And and did you get everything you're looking for? And really, really nice to you. Oh, when you're in my neck of the woods, it's, it's doggy dog out there. It's people fighting for a loaf of bread and a pint of milk. Oof. And why do they need, like, three trolleys full of groceries and the shops are only shut for one day? I don't get it. I really don't get it. Or if a snowflake falls, oh, there's people at the, the, the shops have no milk or bread or anything left. People rush out to get bread and milk. Like, I, I don't know what they're going to do with all this. There's going to be loads of toasts and hot milk. So I'm going to get, get rid to drink of my cola. I'm going to give you a little review now this afternoon on my makeup palettes. Now I'll show you the the, the makeup I've got just now, the eyeliner, uh, eyeshadow. It's lovely glittery eyeshadow. And um, I actually got this a few months ago. My mum had said to me, what would I like for my birthday? And I said, there's this fabulous makeup palette going about on Facebook. And it looks fantastic. And I've got the Moondust palette. And I want this, this palette that's going about Facebook because it looks way superior to the Moondust palette. And I want to really, really try it. My mum ordered this for me two months ago. <laughs> and thought it would be here in plenty of time. And I only got it a few days ago. This is the palette. Okay. I, th I think it was £20, she said she spent. And I've already spoke to her about doing this review. Because what I'm going to say about the palette... Is nothing against my my poor mum who forked out money to buy this palette, right? It's nothing against her. And um, I love her very much and I appreciate this palette. Or I wouldn't be able to do this review if it wasn't for you. And you know, I love you, mum. So it's called My Magic Pro Essential Cosmetics Beauty Glitter Palette. Let's see how beautiful it looks. I'm going to do swatches and that for you, right? And I'm going to compare it to the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette, which I absolutely love. So, first look at this palette. You can see how wonderful it does look. Fantastic, right? It looks really, really good. Fantastic. You open it up. Hmm. You open it up and it does look very, very glittery. There's a kind of odd smell. There's a kind of... And all these... Th this, this, is, this is my opinion on the palette. So nobody come for me that works for the palette company. This is my opinion. Right, first, I don't like the smell. It smells kind of funky, as we would say. The bit inside... Now, you get this plastic bit inside. And you can see it's like... It's not the best, right? It's not got the name. There's no names. And normally I like to see my 
I make up with different names, you know, you've got all different names and put the right, so it's this you get and you can actually see the see some it's stuck. It's stuck to the plastic inside. This is the first time I have wore this makeup and I used this one. This one here I took one swatch and I don't know if you can see but we're already touching the back. We're already touching the cardboard. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to do swatches for you and I'm going to show you how weird this is, right? So I'm swirling my finger around in there and I'm going to do this. See, it goes on. See how it's, it really doesn't blend? See how weird that is? It doesn't blend. It's the weirdest. Right, we'll do. And look how much came off. See that? Honestly, it, it feels as if it's literally um, a tub of glitter. Hold on, I don't know what I've done there. Bring up another tab. It's like a, a tub of glitter has been put, look at that, inside this with some kind of water agent. Look at this. And now, I'm now I've never had that on in one swatch and I'm touching the back. Let's try and swatch it. Oh, look there, I've got a label. Let's take this label off. Oh, wait to see this. What? Yeah, I just get rid of that troll. They'll be back with another one. Look at, look. Look how, I, I mean, I can't even, there's no, and I, I forgot my wipes. There's no words to, look, there's a bit of, look. There's no words to tell you actually how, Terrible. I mean, it looks lovely, but they've actually made it with pouring. Well, what I think, pouring, um, glitter, actual glitter, into the the compartments, and just adding some. Look, it look. It doesn't. It doesn't blend. It sticks. It's. It's, it's sticky. So. As you see, I'm already touching touching the back of this, and I've never had it on, never had it on, and you you seen this one. This is I'm I'm probably touching the back of that one too, so I might have them on once or twice, but that's it. So now we'll compare it to the real one, and although it doesn't look as sparkly, this. Oh, there's my delivery. Hold on a second. My doggies are going to go crazy. Bear with me. I thought it was my, my game in that, it's not, it's for my son. So, where was I? Oh, moon dust. It doesn't look that glittery, but right away when you feel, you feel it's good quality. And when you put it on, see how blendable that actually is. 
you know, it blends. This actually, it sticks to your, your skin as if it's, look. Can you see how that actually sticks to your skin as if it's mixed with some kind of glue? And I've got that on my eyes just now and I'm kind of worried. <laughs> and my poor mum asked me what I wanted and I said I wanted this because it was all over Facebook. And um, she ordered it for my birthday. My birthday was last week and I got it after my birthday. Now look, this bit's just, I can't, I can't. I just can't, I can't explain how, how terrible it is. Hi, Arab. Wait, I'm never getting it off. Yes, hi, Moomin. Yes, Moomin, um, do you know, I think that's what I'll probably do. Or, guys. Come here, guys. My dogs are hooligans. Do you know, open-minded, it was actually my mum that got it, and it was through a Facebook ad. And she ordered it, as I say, about two months ago. Look at that, look. So I've got it on my eyes, but see if you were to wear it for a long time. You know, I, I I can't see it staying put. <sighs> Moomin, I'm taking it off immediately after this video. <laughs> but, you know, if you want a good glitter um, eyeshadow, Urban Decay, you, you know. And I've, I've fell into the trap of the Facebook ads on numerous occasions and been, you know like myself why did I buy that but this look it's just and honestly I think that's how they've made it they've actually got some crafting glitter and some kind of fluid and just packed it in and that's the way it feels that's the way it, it with the with the moon dust when you, you put that on you can't feel the glitter you can feel that the shadow and you can feel that it's smooth and it, it can blend See, with this, you can actually feel the glitter. Oh, Abby, thank you so much. She gave me a £3 super chat. Oh, thank you so much, Abby. But you can actually feel... Look, look at that. You can actually feel the hardness of the glitter. And I've got it all over me. <laughs> See if I'm like this tomorrow, I'll come back on live and I will be putting a complaint in, definite. <laughs> what am I getting for Christmas, Linda? I'm getting love volume. I don't, I really don't need um, anything volume material wise. My, my daughters will buy me something, maybe candles or something like that. Um, a nice bottle of vodka. <laughs> yes, Abby. Maybe, maybe a nice bottle of vodka. That, that, that would be nice and, and warm it up. And I've got, look, see, I've got my, my festive, I'm festive for you today. Um, <laughs> volume really for Christmas um, as I said I've, I've got my son with the help of shoot the shit, snacker size you need to go over to their channel, they're doing this fundraiser every night and I got my son a new jacket, a really warm jacket that we, we need because it's, it's not actually snowed, but it's been minus digits. It's been frosty as hell. You know, if I've got to go in the car, you've got to scrape the car and, and the amount of gas and electricity you use, it burns it up. So it has been absolutely freezing, but there's just no snow. 
But I got him anyway. New jacket, new shoes, new slippers, new jammies. Um, what else did I get him? His Monopoly. I'm trying to have gloves. I think that was it. I think that was it. But do you know something? Wrap, that all wrapped up is going to give him an absolutely fantastic Christmas. And it's going to give me a fantastic Christmas because I can't wait to see his wee face. <laughs> and I'm going to beat him at Monopoly. I'm going to be the banker. <laughs> and because it's the Glasgow edition, I wonder if it's going to be like Loch Ness monsters that we're going to play with or, you know, maybe kilts. <laughs> I don't know. If it's gonna be do you know I'll need I'll show you I'll need to show you because I, I just don't know where it's gonna be. Haggis <laughs> And in Glasgow there's a, a phase a male man's jail and um, Ross Kemp who's in East or was in East Enders actually visited Berlin it's called <laughs> and it's a really tough Scottish prison. So I wonder, see when you go to jail in the Glasgow Monopoly, I wonder if you go to Berlin. <laughs> it's going to be great. So that's, <laughs> that's what I'll be getting. And some nice food. That's what I'll be getting for my Christmas. And that that's all I want. Look at this. Now. Now I'm, oh my God, I'm covered. As I say, this has definitely been, and you can see as I do that in my eye, I can feel the glitter. I can feel it. Oh, you've got that palette. But do you, have you not found that one use of the palette and you're already touching the back? I've never even had the silver on. I've not even had that silver on yet. And I'm touching the back. And that was just with two swatches. And I, I didn't dig in. You know? And but see when I feel them, you feel as if, if you were to, you know, put a brush to it, it would all just come out. Maybe I just got a right, <laughs> you know. It, it could be, it could be me just getting a right bad one, but. Uh... Yeah, Sandra, shoot the shit. Um, the the oh, Arab, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Shoot the shit have been absolutely wonderful, and not just to me. I'm talking about watching the people, and I have sat and cried with happiness watching the the people that they've helped. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Um, over the past few weeks, watching what what they've done for these people, and there was a, a little girl that hadn't had a Christmas tree in three years. She hadn't had a Christmas tree, and someone gave her a Christmas tree and gave her some dollies, and uh, she was she was looking up at the Christmas. Tree. It's just it's touched my heart every single night, but I can't I can't get on live every single night because the time difference they always start their live streams at nine o'clock american time and that's two o'clock in the morning my time so i don't always get on live to watch them but i do watch them on repeat and when i watch them on repeat you know my heart my heart's warm and happy with the the love and people just donating and that's why i'm doing the the donation thing it's the only thing i can give and it's a video that I can make someone if they're interested. And it would be a personal video, a personal video, um, a spa role play for either a man or a woman. They can choose and they can get in contact with me and tell me what name they would like me to call them because some people want to call different names. So whatever name they want, they want me to call them and um, it will be a personal, personal video and it's the only thing I can do, but I felt as if I had to. Uh, I didn't feel as if I had to. I wanted, I wanted to, 
do a video to hopefully raise even a, a dollar or a pound or, a, or five dollars, hopefully something um, to, to raise a little bit of money. But already I've got the trolls, <laughs> I've got the trolls at me saying, who would want their videos? Um, the prob in fact, it was the problem is that no one would want your shitey ASMR <laughs> video. <laughs> don't bid on it then. Don't bid. Don't bid. Abby, it's every single night they're doing it, but the auction, um, people will put bids in and the auction will finish on the 18th of December. And whoever's the highest bidder on the 18th of de December um, will then win the video. Once they've won the video, they can get in touch with me via my my email address and we can chat and then um, just whoever it is can tell me what they, they would like the video to have. Maybe there's maybe there's a, a certain trigger like like um eyebrows or or lotion sounds or maybe maybe there's a a trigger that they really, really enjoy. And I will make sure that trigger is, is in the video for them. Yes, Abby, on their live streams, um, shoot the shit, snacker size. They've actually got three channels. They've got their, their normal channel, which is just shoot the shit. The one they're doing, the, the fundraiser on every night is called shoot the shit, snacker size. And they've got another one that Ricky does, and it's Shoot the Shit Tanked. But that channel is all about fish tanks because he's he loves all his, his fish tanks and his fishies. Moomin, these trolls. <laughs> Moomin, it, it wouldn't matter what you done, you would have a troll for every day of the week. <laughs> you could you could be Saint Teresa, or, you know, you could you you could be the Pope. It wouldn't matter who it was. You would get you would get trolls, trolls trolling you. Oh, thank you so mind open. Thank you so much, open minded. That means a lot. But I just, I, I you know, I I hate feeling as if I'm not doing anything. And the only thing I can I can't donate money, unfortunately. But the only thing I can do is give them my time and. And I will do a really nice video with triggers that they they enjoy, and and it'll be their video. It'll be it'll be for them, and I've never done that before, and this will be coming on three years since I've been doing my channel, and I've never ever done a private video. So this will be the first um, private video I've ever done. Oh, Lewis, I've not got a P.O. box. I haven't. But you know what, Lewis? See, even if you just send me uh, a nice picture on my Facebook with uh, Merry Christmas and maybe some snow or, or, or a snowman or something, I, I will love it just as much. I promise you, I will love it just as much. Oh, thank you, Shannon. I try to be. I try my my hardest to be to be a nice person. <laughs> so anyway, I'm. I'll need to go and wash. <laughs> wash. I'm going to wash my eyes because I'm. I'm starting to worry now because <laughs> it kind of uh, feels a bit gritty. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for telling me that, Abby. I never knew that. Because before I had looked into getting a P.O. box and it was like £200 a year. And that might not be a lot to, to some people, but it's, it's, you know, a significant <laughs> amount of money to me. So, um... I just they can't do that. And I know that everybody, that you all love me and I love you even more. And, um, you know, one day I will, I will, see when I get my son out of the house, I'll probably save that amount of money. Because <laughs> he's, 
he eats some amount, that boy. Eats some amount. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, everybody. So, I hope he's enjoyed this little video. Just look there. People want him by my window. Wait till I tell you before I go. I need to tell you this before I go. I had 10 candy cane lights in my garden. 10 candy cane lights in my garden. All stole. Someone stole them all. They're all gone. My son took the dogs O-U-T. I can't say that word because they know it. And he said, Mum, did you bring in all those candy cane lights? I said, no, there's none left. I said, what do you mean there's none left? Looked out, every single one gone. Gone. So I'm not putting any more candy cane lights. Imagine stealing. Oh, don't know. <laughs> candy cane lights. See if I was to get a candy cane and get a hoodie. No, I'm not even going to finish that. What I was going to say was, it was going to be nasty. It was going to be nastiness. <laughs> Shocking cake. Me and my next door neighbour, he actually got his lights taken as well. Because I had just dropped my son off at school and parked the car. And he said, did you take all your candy cane lights in? I said, they got stole. He said, so did mine. And... My candy cane lights were, what was it, two, two pound each, and there was ten of them, right? So, but his candy, his, he, he never had candy cane lights. He had, like, big solar lights, and they were, they were like, twenty pound each. They, they were, like, big solar lights. Stole as well. He said, the stole mines as well. I said that, I said, they just, some of these people just can't see anything nice. Anything nice they've got... Wee bit of Christmas cheer. They've got to steal it. So I don't know if someone somewhere's garden is absolutely decked out with candy cane lights and solar lights for every house up and down the street. Or if they've just broke them. You just don't know. Santa's got them on his naughty list though. I know that for a fact. Yes, open-minded. That's the same candy cane lights I've done my ASMR video with. Stole every single one. They didn't leave one. They were all gone. <laughs> because my son came in and said, did you take them all in? I'm saying, what do you And I'm thinking, they wouldn't steal all of them, would they? Oh, they did. They did. Every single one stole. So there you go. <laughs> <sighs> they stole the projector from next door that's just got with snowflakes so moving is it this projector hold on here see if i can oh, i'm pointing the bloody around camera Come on. Oh, see they were attacked is it that projector If it is, that's the reason I've got the projector in the house, because they'd be away with it. Isn't it terrible? You can't have anything nice for people. And you know some that is see if people needed the candy cane lights and came up and said, We really need the candy cane or could you spare a few candy cane lights? I'd have said, Sure, I'll give you five. I'd have gave them half of the candy cane lights. It's just the point of them stealing the candy cane light. And I know it's probably child, children stealing it for a laugh. When I think about it, see, when I was... No, I would have never done that. I was going to say when I was younger, but I would have never done that. I would have never stole MD's candy cane lights. Wait till I show you. I'll show you something else, right? The cuteness, see? That's the cuteness. That's the babies. <laughs> well, anyway, everybody, I'm going to get off of here. And I'm going to wash this off my eyes because I'm a bit worried. Because it does feel a wee bit gritty. I'll not lie. It does feel a bit... 
But if it, you don't feel that with the Urban Decay, I must admit. <laughs> oh, William, I've not even spoke about I'm a Celeb. It is getting good and it's, it's nearly over. And um, I want Toph to win, so hopefully Toph will win. She's been excellent. So thank you everybody for stopping by and spending time with me this afternoon. And I absolutely love you all. Thank you for the super chats. And please check out Shoot the Shit's Snacker Size channel. And if he's want to win a video, um, well, he's won't be winning it. He'll be buying it because it'll be yours and yours only. And um, hopefully we'll get some, some money raised. Hopefully I'm not. <laughs> Nobody wants it. Can you imagine that? <clears throat> I'd <coughs> fade that in the background, right? Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, have a wonderful Saturday, everybody, and I absolutely love you all. Love and hugs. Bye, everyone.